forever. He reigns forever. He reigns forever and evermore. Da -da 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 -da. All hail King Jesus. On this beautiful Saturday, it's the first one of the sixth month. Yes, June 2022, June 4th. To God be the glory. I hope you are waking up to expectation, hope, and we know that we're in the midst of celebration season where we're going to see a lot of, well, there's a prom send off tonight. It's kind of late in the season, but we're going to see a lot of weddings, a lot of graduations, a lot of, you know, Father's Day, all of that barbecues, holidays, cookouts. And we know that this is a time where if we don't focus on the event and the fun and the fellowship, we can pack on pounds. We can focus on the food. Ooh, yeah, let me get that slab. Ooh, let me get this, that. And then before you know it, you look at a picture, you'd be like, where did the 50 pounds, where did all this flab come from? It's easy. We always focus on the holiday season, Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's as far as putting on so much weight, but mm -mm, it can occur throughout the year and especially the summertime. And then before you know it, we're like, oh my goodness, I am feeling miserable, down. Well, let's make sure that our gaze is vertical and we're not getting caught up on everything that's happening around us because we can become distracted, swept, and yeah, we are not in a good place. In Ezekiel 24, it talks about how there was a continuation of rebellion. And it says in verse three, and there will be a parable that was uttered to Ezekiel talking about the rebellious house. And the Lord said to tell the people, thus saith the Lord God, set on a pot, set it on, and also pour water on it. And it was a, a picture story, a narrative about uh, what would be done in, in symbolic terms as far as those who were going against the Lord. And it says in verse nine, therefore thus saith the Lord God, woe, to the bloody city our prayer is that the lord is not looking upon our city like that today because we're doing our own thing that's why it's so important for us to be active socially politically so that we can put things in right alignment back to the lord's perfect will and it says in verse 21, Behold, I will profane my sanctuary, the elect excellency of your strength. And he was saying to speak this into the house of Israel. Well, the Lord wants us to look to his excellency of his strength. He being the source of our joy, our solace, our accomplishment, our pleasure today. And not look to anything else. No food, no no celebration, but to God be all the glory for everything that is accomplished in our lives. So even if there's disappointment, I know of a few people who just received notice that they're not graduating. and They've been working all these years and some of them stopped working and that might be the reason, but there, there's a lot of disappointment right now because the celebration that they thought would be the case is not going to be the case. Listen, keep your eyes on God. God still has plans for you and your family, plans to prosper you and not harm you, but to give you an expected end. And we know that that is, you know, deep. You know, people work, you know, to enjoy themselves, but the Lord has a reason for everything. And we might not understand, but Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face forevermore. In Psalm 34, you still can declare this. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. 
and he is the one to be celebrated at all times. He is the source. He is our pleasure. We sought the Lord and he heard us and delivered us. And we can say that verse seven is our testimony. Oh, taste and see, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man, woman, teenager, child who trusts in him. Thank you, Father, that you are the one that we look to. All hail King Jesus. You are our power, our strength, and our, and our everything. And we'll continue to celebrate you forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen.